In Adobe Illustrator, there's something known as the knife tool, which allows you to slice objects by drawing freehand lines through them. There is no knife tool in Inkscape though, but there is an equivalent workaround which we'll be going over in this tutorial. So for this demonstration, I just have a plain circle on my canvas, and if I want to slice this object, I'm going to use the pencil tool to do that. So locate the pencil tool, you can access it by pressing the letter P on your keyboard, and now I'm just going to draw a line going through the object. You can draw a straight line by clicking once to add a point, and then clicking again to add another point, or you can draw a curved line by just clicking and dragging like that. Now if I want to slice this object, all I have to do is come back here to my selection tool, select both of these objects, and go to Path, and select Division. And once you do that, the object will be sliced in half based on that line that you've drawn. Now let's go over how to apply the same effect to objects that are strokes, because this works a little different. If I were to draw my freehand line through this object, and then try to slice it by going to Path, Division, I end up with this effect right here, which is probably not what you're going for. If you want the effect to be applied only to the stroke and not to the entire object as a path, to do that we would use a different function. So I'm going to select both of my objects, and this time I'm going to go to Path, and I will select Cut Path instead. And now once you do that, you have sliced the stroke into two separate pieces. And now finally, we'll have a look at how to do this if you're working with multiple strokes like I have here. If I want to make multiple slices using these blue lines, I'm going to select all of them first. So I'm going to hold my Alt key and click and drag a line going through them to select them. And with the object selected, I'm going to combine them together. So I'll come up here to where it says Path, and I will look for Combine right here. I'll select Combine. And now I can click and drag over both objects and go to Path and choose Division. And now we end up with this effect right here where we have this basketball icon, but it's sliced up into different pieces. So that's how you can go about slicing objects without a knife tool in Inkscape. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.